Coming up today on This Is True Really News, two friends, Mikey and Josh, go dining. If dining friends like because Mikey and... you want to give it to Mikey, he'll eat anything. Ate well, and he did. As a matter of fact, he ate, oh. he ate everything. <laughs> and you're going to want to know about this one. It was kind of cute. Yeah beginning to think i may not please like subscribe and follow this is true really news leave comments wherever you hear us or see us and please if you care to participate you can send stories you think we'd like to titr at netradio.network splendiferous thank you this is true really news with scott combs and tony vercanis all the news you're about to hear is true really as far as you know So workers for American Plate Glass in Sunapee, New Hampshire, learned a rather important lesson this year about locking up their valuables. Yes, it was just days before our birthday. Yeah. At the hands of the typical thief? No. What were the valuables? Were they the usual tools or construct? No. You see, Curtis Fiddler was working on site when he noticed movement in his peripheral vision that's the vision you have peripherally out here when you're looking thank straight you ahead the thing you can explaining see explaining that thank you you're welcome he said i actually turned because i thought it was a bear a bear nonchalantly just having lunch in the front seat of the truck An ordinary bear, because at some point he looked out the other window and said, Hey, boo boo. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. There we are. The bear enjoyed all the snacks it could find. Well, it's a bear. It's going to enjoy it. anything it can find. Anything. Dude, you're in June, okay? He's eating. He's got he's got a long nap and very little food to have later. So, eh. Fiddler FaceTimed his mother in law, Melinda Scott, who watched the encounter live and later told WHGH 7 News that there is not a single scratch on that box truck. He did zero damage. He just had lunch and took a nap. Seriously. So obviously this is not a teenage bear. (laughs) Absolutely not. Because even teenage humans would cause serious damage. Absolutely. This reminds me of the guys. What was it? Were they out west in California or something? And the bear tore up the entire inside of the SUV. I mean, just tore it to shreds. They're usually. (sighs) Have you ever watched when police come in to search a place? Yep. Then you get to put it back together. No, this bear would be more like Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. Well, that's it. That one. Yes, I see a picnic basket. I say a (laughs) boo-boo. From Patrick Reed, our man in Liverpool. What? Keep an eye out for Mr. Ranger, sir. Thank you. From Patrick Reed, our man in Liverpool. Two friends, Mikey and Josh, dined at a local steakhouse. Why does this sound like a really bad teen movie they were told si- uh, sides for steak orders were unlimited by their waiter think about that all right excited josh ordered the steak <sighs> well mikey mikey got pasta and both agreed to share their orders mikey because noted because they're guys yeah we'll have a little sharing experience it'll be lovely the pair went on to order every side on the menu And as they ate to their heart's content, Mikey said he thought to himself, this restaurant is absolutely hemorrhaging money, but kudos to them for giving us a fantastic night. The deal was, unfortunately, too good to be true. Of course it was. Because? When they received the check at the end of the night, Josh found himself charged a jaw-dropping $95 when he expected to pay $40 for the steak. The pair at first thought it was a prank, but the waiter was reportedly as serious as a heart attack. He explained the $55 extra charge to their bill was due to all the sides they ordered. Confoozled. Point of order, sir. Yes, sir. You go right ahead. Didn't they say they were free? Well, they said they were unlimited. Ah, there's the rub. And the waiter's face dropped. He said, I just meant you could order as many as you wanted to. It's a strange world after all. Although the pair ultimately paid the bill in full, Mikey asked his TikTok viewers if they were wrong, saying, are we stupid? I feel like we're stupid. 
go with that. <laughs> but they did have a wonderful meal. So, see, and great company. I mean, and it's ninety five bucks for an evening. Yeah, that's you know, you that's can do okay. worse. <laughs> Plus, you're filled to the gills with stuff you liked. Yeah. We went out, I told you, right? The one restaurant's closing and our yep. whole family was there. And some of the folks came out on Wednesday to see you. Yep. And yep. apparently my, grandma and grandpa were buying. <laughs> it turned out that way, did it? Yep. I so, think I know, remember hearing Robin mutter, I might as well just pay for it. <laughs> yeah, she's like that. <laughs> so 300 bucks later, we still had two great nights. So what the hey? <laughs> the hopes of Bangkok. <laughs> I know, now I can't. Everything I wanted for Christmas is now gone. No. But hey, it was worth it. The hopes of Bangkok residents were slightly deflated as a long-awaited art installation in June in Victoria Harbor lost its steam. The Dutch artist Laurentian Hoffman's giant rubber ducky installation. Is Rick D still around? Which tours... I hope not. I hated that song. I still do, which too, I can't even watch Howard the Duck without thinking of that song. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with it. You're going to have to look it up. It's called Rubber Ducky. Yeah. Rubber Ducky installation in tour cities around the world captured the affections of Bangkok residents when it visited there back in aught 13. 2013? Yeah, 2013. Well, that's 2013. Yeah. 2 okay. aught 13. Ah, Fine. Have it your way. I went to a private school. I know my maths. Anyways, back in the city earlier <laughs> earlier this summer, and this time with two two giant rubber duckies. Duckies. Which the artist said would bring double luck. Yeah, well, that's and, what I'd tell him, too, if I was getting paid. Exactly right. Uh, unfortunately, Yahoo News reported that rising temperatures put one of the ducky, one of the ducky, one of the duckies. Yes. It put one of the ducks and residents at risk. You see, the rubber duck skin had become strained because of the hot weather, causing air pressure to rise. The duck <laughs> had to be deflated quickly to... They well, euthanized the duck? It's a perca It's a rubber duck. Still? Yes, they did. Hmm. See, and they're much smarter than... I'm sure that they just opened the little... Valve at the bottom. We'd have hit it with a knife and... So would I. Yep, Watch this is, Ducky go nuts. This is going to be fun. Go, Duck, go. What do you bet it would make plasma coming out of a duck that strained in that large? He said, referring back to his we shrimp could now story. We could have a war between the ducks and the shrimps. Dum, dum, dum. I call ducks. From Ronnie Tucker. West Side Story would look so different. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Blake and his wife were spending the evening in Marseille in the south of France after oh, the, Marseille, I love that land. After their ship had docked on their 35th wedding anniversary trip. Okay. When his toe swelled up and turned purple. That probably wasn't on the itinerary. Nope. The following day he visited the onboard dock who told him a Peruvian wolf spider had bitten him and laid eggs inside his toe. What <laughs> the hell is going on here? Wolf spiders, which are not poisonous, are often found in the French port city after arriving on cargo ships. Miss, Mr. Blake, who lives you in... You can tell you hear these tiny little... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. the skittering Blake, of little spiders. Are in here. Who lives in Cramlington, Northumberland. Told BBC Radio Scotland, my wife thought it may be because I had new sandals and they were rubbing my big toe, and that was causing it to be red. And the doctor cut his toe open, causing the spider's eggs to pour out. Why is that almost as gross as the broken item of interest? Yeah, right? Whew. Too bad they didn't have any crackers or anything, right? Yo! After the no, those not <laughs> no, you idiot. Those are fish eggs. Oh, okay. After the <laughs> holiday, Mr. Blake went to hospital in the UK where doctors prescribed antibiotics. But four weeks later, he noticed something else unusual in his toe. Could he, could he like crawl up walls now? No. Oh. On another visit to the doctors, they discovered one of the eggs had hatched into a small spider. 
which was stuck underneath his skin and believed the spider was making its way out, which is to say, eating its way out of his toe. (laughs) Mr. Blake chose not to keep the dead spider when asked by medics. I'd have had it bronzed. I'd have kept it. (laughs) We're a very strange bunch. Hey, I had my tonsils for how long? Did you really? I did. Dr. Mouse had them vacuum packed. Oh, how nice. Yeah. I still have my tonsils. They, my stuffed armadillo and my... um, But I'm down one wisdom tooth. And my gallstones, they're all... What or another? Robin ditched them. Did you mod podge them? No, they were just a nice little collection. It was kind of morbid, but I liked it. (laughs) You would. Peter Back, though, that's when I got into comic books. (laughs) I'll teach her. This is true. Really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.